Will Kegels make premature ejaculation worse? No, the Kegels are going to actually make it a better. The, the thing with premature ejaculation, it has little to do with Kegels at all. It has more to do with your the way your mind is working. Um, in most of the cases, premature ejaculation happens because you're thinking too much about the process, and usually that's why it happens. But if it's a, if from a physical sense, Kegels actually can help you in stopping yourself from having an orgasm. So they can be used in preventing premature ejaculation. There's also an exercise called a reverse Kegel, which is just the opposite of a Kegel. A Kegel would be where you're squeezing. Um, if you're if you're taking a piss, let's say you're peeing, and you stop the flow of urine, that's a Kegel. That muscle movement you use right there is a Kegel. Or if you're urinating or peeing and you push the flow of urine, that's a reverse Kegel. And those two muscle movements, the reverse Kegel and the Kegel, can be used in different sequences with each other to slow down the process of premature ejaculation and to even circumvent it. The, the, a lot of men have learned how to have multiple male orgasms or remain erect after an orgasm through the use of Kegels and reverse Kegels in certain successions. Um, we find that some people when they feel like they're at the point of no return, they're about to come, if they do kegels, some people can find with a certain sequence of doing kegels, they can stab back the whole orgasm and reset it. And then some people, as they feel it coming on, they can do kegels and reverse kegels and stop the process. But it seems to be different between all different men, so what I suggest men do is if you're masturbating in the masturbation process it's a good time to practice your kegels and reverse kegels to see how they affect your orgasm to see how they prevent it or encourage it maybe in some ways also so it's 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 better to know your penis so to answer the question directly a kegel is not going to cause or make premature ejaculations the way it's used that it would affect it in any way so um, kegels and re reverse kegels are very important to the whole process of penis enlargement, so they shouldn't be avoided at all. The kegel itself, when the kegels used during um, girth work, it enhances the girth work t twofold easily because as you kegel, you're pushing more blood into the penis, which is making the penis bigger and stronger and thicker, harder. Um, the the more kegels you can do or the stronger those pelvic floor muscles that the kegels affect become the harder erections are the better erection angle um you're gonna th there's a lot of benefits to kegels themselves and reverse kegels being just the opposite of that so if you can imagine that a kegel would be a, a muscular squeeze a reverse kegel is a complete unflex of that muscular squeeze. So with the reverse Kegel, what we find um, in penis enlargement is if we use that with stretching, the reverse Kegel works really, really well with people that have intensity problems or really, really want to hit um, the ligaments without being held back. A lot of men will like Kegel and hold back. They find that if they practice the reverse Kegel and push and unflex that when they're stretching, they get a much more, they get a much better stretch and they yield much better gains because of it. So kegels and reverse kegels are very, very important in penis enlargement. They're also important to continuity. Um, as you're getting older, um, some men, you know, they, they can't hold their urine as well, so kegels will train the, the body to hold urine better as you get older. There's, there's so many good reasons to do them, and there's no reason to avoid them, and they can be done at any time. So I think that just getting the habit of doing kegels as you're driving or as you're, as you're walking or as you're playing, whatever you're doing, you can just get kegels in. It's just going to give you better endurance, better erections, and give you more understanding of the orgasm process, how to prevent it or how to encourage it.